okay students let's start with the poem the pilgrim now i showed you all the picture of a pilgrim a traveler okay now take pencils in your hand and first i will read the poem very interesting poem it's a very motivational poem something for each of us to learn a pilgrim going a lone highway lone means lonely there were no people there were no vehicles very sometimes uh, a few traveler you would see side by side came at evening cold and gray yes he at evening he was traveling the full day and when evening came it was quite cold and gray gray means what dull yes the sun had set and it was quite dark to a chasm deep and vast and wide yes now what is a chasm a very deep hole yes if you see i will show you all now suppose this is a chasm yes you can see there is a hole here okay now he had to cross that chasm and it was quite difficult now suppose students you you'll have to go somewhere and a deep hole comes in between yes can you jump for such a long distance no and you cross it anyhow it's quite difficult and this pilgrim he crossed it but let's see did he cross and forget it no to a chasm deep and vast and wide the old man crossed in the twilight dim now twilight evening yes late in the evening when it was quite dark to a chas the chasm held no fear for him now old man he was quite experienced so this chasm was not a fright for him yes it was not a fear for him you know no he is experienced brave he has gone through many hardships before but he paused when he reached the other side paused means what stopped he did not cross and forget chalo main ja raha hu no he waited and he just looked at the chasm oh it's so deep i crossed with great difficulty and built a bridge to span the tide now after crossing it he whatever material he found there yes whatever material he found there see some of the woods and all that with some of the uh, tree creepers and all he started building a bridge to span the tide to span the tide means if ever there would be high tide and the river would be flooded the chasm the hole would be flooded with water so it would be easy for people to cross old man said a fellow pilgrim near now another fellow pilgrim who was traveling alongside he just asked this pilgrim old man why waste your time in building here why are you wasting your time you have crossed the chasm now why are you wasting your time your journey ends with the close of day your journey is ended finish now your student see your journey ends with by the close of day here close of day means what if you go to see the old man has lived his life now he is about like very few years are left and he will die he may not cross back again so here this particular line your journey ends journey means it has double meaning your life journey you are so old that maybe you'll die very soon with the close of the day means as the day ends your journey ends you never again will pass this way and you may never again pass this way you will not come again here you have crossed the chasm deep and wide why built ye here at even tide why built ye ye means you this is old english word okay and old english word are called archaic languages okay they are called archaic words why built here at even tide even tide means so late in the evening why are you taking the trouble of building this bridge the pilgrim 
raised his old grey head. Raised his old grey head. I told you he was quite old. And he looked up. My friend, in the path I have come, he said. Now what did he say? My friend. He calls that fellow pilgrim. My friend. In the path means the way I have come. He said, there follow it after me today a fair-haired youth who must pass this way. Yes, a fair-haired youth means a very young boy. And of course, he is also on the way and very soon he will cross this way. Yes, who must pass this way? The chasm which held no fears for me. Now this chasm, this deep hole did not frighten me. I was very brave to cross it. To the fair head youth may a pitfall be. But it will be a danger. It will be a trap for the fair head youth. He too must cross in the twilight dim. And he also will surely cross here. When it is quite dark. My friend, I am building this bridge for him. And so, this old pilgrim, he is not doing things for himself. He is doing things for the coming generation, for the youth. So, it has double meaning here. Students, some things that are being done are not done for the benefit of those people. It is done for whom? For the benefit of the coming generation. I told you all, I'll tell you all a short story here. Yes, like once, long time back. Yes, when kings and queens ruled. One day, a king just came out on his horseback. See, that time no kings and queens did not have fear of their life. Yes, they used to travel alone, no bodyguards and all. Now this king came out on his horseback to look after at his kingdom he just went round his kingdom and what did he see he saw one old man planting mango saplings now you know what are mango saplings small small mango trees yes he was digging and digging and planting one one tree he was very very old that old farmer very old and he was breathing deeply but still for all he was digging and planting and it was very very hot hot sun now the king asks that old farmer grandfather what are you doing so that old farmer is telling oh i'm planting mango trees so now the king told the old man but these mango trees are so small how long will it take for it to grow so that uh, old man farmer told it will take at least 15 years for it to grow. How many years will it take to give mangoes? Yes. Then the old man told it will take at least 2 more years for the mangoes to come. So about 17 to 18 years. And then the king told that farmer, are you going to live that long to eat the mangoes? The farmer told no. I will not live that long. But I am not planting these trees for me. I am planting it for who? For my children. For their children. For the, their coming generation. Okay students. So when we do. When we leave this earth. Yes. Now what means leave this earth? When we die. We should do things that will benefit others. Yes. We should help we should not only think about ourselves that is why you might be seeing some very old scientists and all they are risking their life and they are preparing medicines yes doing such dangerous experiments all for whose sake for the sake of the coming generation okay so did did you like the story i would like you all to write the story in your notebooks okay and when you will write the story give it a suitable title okay students and next one thing more in the next lecture when we meet again i would want you all to take pencils in your hand again we will mark the figures of speech and do the exercises of this particular poem 
Did you all understand? Nice? Okay, bye. See you all.